Hi, my name is George Hillman. Besides being on the faculty at Dallas Theological Seminary, I am so honored to be a part of the body of Christ here at Bent Tree Bible Fellowship. A while back, I went to my high school reunion, and high school reunions are very interesting affairs. I know I do not look the same as I did 20 some odd years ago, but very few of the people in the room look the same as well. Name tags and high school pictures help as you have these conversations with people so that you can remember who these people are that you need to be talking to. High school reunions are also very enlightening. Some of the people there had such potential at graduation, yet their gifting and abilities are wasted away because of bad choices. Potential does not always guarantee success. The book of 1 Kings is a textbook example of this very fact. The books of 1 and 2 Kings were actually one book in the original writings. The first half of 1 Kings tells us the story of King Solomon, a man with unbelievable potential. It's going to be under King Solomon that the first temple is built and that the nation of Israel reaches, reaches its peak of both size and splendor. Yet this great potential of King Solomon is wasted away as his zeal for God wanes under pagan influences. The remainder of 1 Kings tells us the story of now two kingdoms, Israel to the north and Judah to the south, and how these two kingdoms, and with a cavalcade of bad kings, make bad choices and become more and more disobedient to God. What results is that the divided heart of the king ends in a divided kingdom. The author of 1 Kings wrote these words to us as a warning just as he did to the generation of his own time. Sadly, as you read the book of 1 Kings, the words in the book are going to be not much different than what you're going to read in the Dallas Morning News each morning. May we learn from the examples in 1 Kings, and may we draw ever closer to God in our own time.